So guys, I have two um, discount codes for you. My usual Hannah Hearts 15 for 15% off. And I also have another discount code which I'll pop on the screen as well, specifically for Valentine's Day items um, on Shein. You can use either. You can use mine or you can use the Valentine's Day code. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Hannah, here, as you know. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So today I have one of my most popular videos that I do on my channel, which is my plus size Shein haul. Just for reference, I am five foot three. I am a size 20, 22. I can range between an 18 and a 22, I'd say. And I usually buy a 3XL in everything in Shein. Usually it's okay. Sometimes it's a little bit big, but I have some amazing finds for you today. Can't wait to share them with you. So let's get into the video. Okie dokies, guys. So I'm just going to pull stuff out of this box right here next to me. It's a big daddy box so we'll just get started um so today's video is a little bit of a different collaboration with Shein they asked me to pick out specifically items that I would wear for Valentine's Day now Valentine's Day what's wrong with this this is an opening the zip is going back and forth and it's not opening um they asked me specifically to pick out things for Valentine's Day. Now, Valentine's Day this year is cancelled, honey, because we are in lockdown. So the 14th of February, we're probably not going to be going out to celebrate Valentine's Day. However, you can still dress up. You can still look cute on Valentine's Day, whether you have a Galentine's or a Valentine's. These outfits are just cute for every day anyway. So I'll start off with the first item, which is a gorgeous dress from Shein. I don't usually order dresses because they're usually too long on me. I am five foot three, as I've mentioned, um, and they're usually too long on me, but this one wasn't too long. So first of all, it's got a zip up the back. Um, but I picked this just because I absolutely loved the color of the dress. So it's this pearl high neck collar skater dress with long sleeves and then pearl cuffs to match it's making my camera go crazy the lighting go crazy but it is just a skater dress and surprisingly it's not too long it is in kind of like a ribbed material let me see if the camera will focus and show you it does have a tiny zip up the back um it goes to about maybe let me have a look Actually, is it a tiny zip? <gasps> no, it opens all the way up. So the back opens all the way up. Um, but I never needed the um, the zip all the way down. I only, that's why I thought it was a tiny zip. I thought it was just for the neck. I only opened it up for the neck so I could get my fat head into it. But this dress is absolutely gorgeous. It looks really, really nice. And I have paired it with a pearl belt that I got from Primark. I probably wouldn't pair the pearl belt with it when I put it on. And now that I'm looking back, I don't really like it too much. But um, wearing this with a pair of tights and then a cute shoe would look really, really nice. And it's very stretchy and comfortable as well. So if you are doing Valentine's Day in the house, then it is a comfortable option to wear in the house. Next is another dress from Shein. Who is she? She's ordering dresses. Now, the reason I ordered this dress is because it was embroidered. So I love embroidered items. I just think it makes everything look more expensive when it's actually been embroidered. So it's got an underslip, which is all right. It's a stretchy, normal underslip. I'll probably wear my own anyway. But this is the dress. So it is completely see-through um obviously it has an underslip with it and it is full of flowers it has a long sleeve with a small little cuff like they usually have on Shein <gasps> my nails getting stuck on it this is what the dress looks like it is embroidered so you can see if I put it up close it's embroidered with all these multicolored flowers and then it has a stretchy waistband does it have a stretchy waistband yeah it has a stretchy waistband and then it just kind of goes down into an airline type dress but look at how colorful and beautiful this is wow I love it um and I will probably wear my own slip underneath this just because their slips tend to have very very skinny spaghetti straps and I want to be able to wear a bra and not to see my bra underneath so wearing this oh my god so cute again you can wear it with a pair of sheer tights a cute shoe or a boot or something um and you could probably proper dress this up if you wanted to because of the embroidery it makes it look more expensive than it actually is it does need a good iron and i bet you have to be really careful when you iron this i'm not about to iron it for the video just in case i ruin it uh, my mum always says when you're ironing mesh to put a towel on top and then iron the towel and then the heat will transfer to the mesh underneath 
Does anyone else's mum have those type of like tricks and hacks or is it just my mum? But that is the second item from Shein and it was another dress. So yes, I'm getting into dress. I've got a dress on right now. Don't know if you can see it. I like dresses anyway, just from Shein, they are very, very long, but those two actually work for me and my height, which is great. My next item is more Valentine's-y because it is red, well, maroony, and you saw this item in one of my last Shein hauls. I got it in like a dusky pink colour. This time I got it in this gorgeous blood red colour. I absolutely love the colour of this. This with like a maroon lip. Wow, it would look so, so nice. Um, it's got a shearing on the front or like a sheared panel on the front and then it goes into like a frill and a peplum. It's this dobby mesh material. It is see-through. You'd have to wear something underneath it if you wanted to. It is Valentine's Day. Um, <laughs> um, but you can see it's got a little cuff, elasticated cuff. It's a dobby mesh material. The colour is divine. It fits really, really nicely. Guys, some of these items don't look great on me in the try-on. Bear in mind, I'm eight and a half months pregnant, so only a few weeks left to go. Oh my gosh. Um, so obviously my body is not the same as it won the same as it was eight months ago. So all of these items I know will look great after I've given birth, but right now, like they just some of them look a little bit weird with my belly, kind of the size of my belly. So for example, I've got some skirts in here that just kind of really accentuate how wide I look, which they wouldn't do that if I didn't have this belly, you know? So I'll explain all that when I show you the skirts, but love this top, love the color, the fit is gorgeous, even whilst pregnant, it looks good. Um, but like I said, not everything looks great, but disclaimer, I'm eight and a half months pregnant. That's why I am 34 weeks pregnant. So there's your disclaimer. <laughs> okay, next item. So the next item is a floral pant or legging, I would say. Again, like I said, this item will probably look better when I'm not pregnant. Um, but for you guys that maybe aren't pregnant who want to buy these types of items, then it would, I'm sure, look amazing on you. Now, I picked these trousers out or these leggings out because of the pattern and the fact that it had nude flowers on it. Now, the fact that they're nude flowers means to me, like, it just, things start popping up in my mind. Like, I can wear a camel jacket with this. I can wear a silky um, nude trench with it. I can wear that nude woolen um, Shein coat that I got a couple of Shein hauls ago with it. I can wear like a nude boot with it. I can wear a nude jump with it. Just the colour nude in anything, it just kind of gives me inspiration, gives me life. So I, I ordered these and these are in a size 3XL. They are great. They are stretchy. They're that crepe material. So they are a little bit cheap looking. Um, but like I said, if you wear these with a gorgeous kind of nude jumper and a really nice um, coat or jacket on top, it's just going to look so nice. This kind of matches my eyeshadow look today, does it not? I don't know. Um, but I, I really, really love the pattern of these. They taper inwards. They don't look like a trouser on me. They look like a legging, which is fine by me. I don't really care. But I just love the pattern of them. And they're giving me super inspiration for different outfits. The next item is something that doesn't look great on me now, but I know it will look good on me after pregnancy. And it really, really, as soon as I took this out, item out of the packet, it reminded me of, I don't know if you've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race, the US version, the first episode when the first runway look was Le May You Stay, like Le May, the actual material, this kind of like shiny metallic material. When I looked at this, I was like, ah, Le May You Stay. Um, anyways, <laughs> so let me show you the item. It don't look great at the moment, so in the try on, please bear with me, guys. Like I said, after pregnancy, it's gonna look beautiful. For Valentine's Day, for those of you that aren't pregnant, it's gonna look beautiful. Why? It's this gorgeous dusky pink colour, first of all. The skirt is so flouncy. Like, it's super flouncy. I don't know how to explain it to you. It's like it's got a wire at the bottom, but it doesn't. Like, that's how flouncy the skirt looks. Don't know how to explain it to you. It's really cute. Um, it has a stretchy waist. I got this in a 3XL. And then the skirt comes with a shirt... Again, the shirt don't look great on me at the moment, guys, but it will. Um, and the shirt is, it's like a co basically, a shirt and skirt combo. Now, for those of you that don't wear, like, black tights with everything like me, it would probably look so super cute with, like, white lacy tights or no tights um, and, like, a really nice flat dolly shoe or something, super romantic. 
I love the material of it. Um, it's like, like I said, the Lemay material, very shiny. Um, but the colour is just so romantic. It looks like a silky top, great for Valentine's Day, great for if it's not Valentine's Day as well. Like, really, really nice. You could wear them as separates as well. You can see it's got a cuff and like a nice thick sleeve or wide sleeve. You could wear them as separates if you wanted to. Look at that colour, so nice. I love it. Uh, but like I said, at the moment, it's not looking its best on me. But once this baby pops out of me, then all of these clothes are just going to be looking banging. They're going to look so, so nice at the moment. My body shape is just not having it. Another couple of items I picked out was kind of like a an item, an item, a set basically so i picked it out as part of an outfit oh god sorry guys for all the noise i'm trying to find the items that i want to show you so i picked two items out together because i wanted to wear them together it's another pink outfit um so it's this skirt which has no stretch in it by the way so let me warn you for me it's a 3xl it fits me at the moment but i know that when i'm not pregnant it's going to fit me so much better because it's very tight at the moment like it was a struggle to get this zip up honestly it really was a struggle um so i would suggest um if you've got like a bigger tummy area maybe get a size up maybe but this has no stretch in it whatsoever it's a pleated um white and pink skirt it's giving me total schoolgirl vibes, but I got this item to go with it. And I just thought that these items together is going to give you proper schoolgirl vibes. Um, but it's going to be super cute. And it is a roll neck pink dusty jumper cable knit. And I just thought this, let me show you. It's got like these little bubbles on it. So I don't know if you can see. Like, look at that. It's so cute. This let me envision you the outfit <laughs> this with the skirt so obviously tucked into the skirt i couldn't probably tuck it in now because of my pregnancy because of my pregnancy because of my stomach um but this jumper tucked into this skirt as an outfit with a knee-high boot you're gonna look so school vibes but also super cute um so yeah i picked those together i just thought it was quite valentinesy because it was pink but also still preppy and cute as well again you can wear them as separates if you wanted to um but i just found them really really cute you'll see that the skirt looks super short on me in the try on because obviously my belly is making the skirt ride up um it was a struggle to get the zip on but one once I'm not pregnant anymore, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. I just know it. Another pink item. Now, this is why it's a Valentine's Day haul, guys. Pink items, red items. That's all we've got. Um, another pink item is this, which is quite different for me. Um, and it is a... I don't like the material of the top. It reminds me of, like, Boohoo. Let me show you. It's like this crepe, stretchy material. It is a square neckline top, which, again, is not very common of me to wear square neck just because i feel like when you have a square neck they usually kind of go off the shoulders or show your bra strap um but the reason i really like this top is because of the sleeves they're like this cute mesh short three quarter sleeve with these flowers embroidered onto them um and sewn onto them these little kind of 3d applique flowers or whatever it's just kind of cute i don't know is it kind of tacky is it kind of cute i'm not sure i'd probably wear this tucked into say for example a pair of trousers if i was to style it up or with a skirt for example i'm not really sure it's not really my style i just thought it was very valentinesy because it had these little cute mesh sleeves um i don't know guys i don't know i'm not sure how i feel about this one i mean it fits nice so yeah but i'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure we'll this is one of the items that we're just kind of like eh, we're not too sure why we picked that hannah are we however However, we picked a gorgeous, yes we did, a gorgeous ooh, pink leopard blazer. Now, some people will not like this because of the lapels. Personally, I love the lapels. I love anything black so that it goes with like leather leggings or black leggings or black tight or whatever. Um, and this is the blazer. So it's like this pinky nudie. Oh, it's nice. I really like this. Pinky nudie blazer. It's not the best of materials, but it is quite thick to be honest. And it has this pink and white creamy kind of leopard print all over it. And then these very, very thick black lapels. 
So you'll see what this looks like in the try on. Very, very thick black lapels, which kind of cheapens it up a little bit. But personally, I don't mind the look of this. I think it looks really, really nice. I like the way that it fits me. And I can just imagine this with like a pointed black knee-high boot, a pair of leather leggings, and then just a simple top underneath. And this banging statement blazer on top. One of my friends um, has a pink silk blazer that she got from Misguided and I've been coveting that blazer for so long. Like, I love that blazer, but it doesn't come in my size and I wouldn't be able to get it because she got it like maybe a year ago or something. But this blazer is a near second. Like, it's so cute. I love the colours of it. I think it looks so nice. And, you know, for a night out maybe, if you want to wear it with leather leggings and like a stiletto heel, it's just gorgeous. And you know how much I love blazers, guys. You know how much I love them. I've got another dress to show you. Another dress. Can you believe it? And this one, I'm so happy I picked this dress out. I'm so, so happy. First of all, it's like this lilac-y, mauve snake print. It's silky. I love it. I love it. It's so, like, unique. That's the word I'm looking for. It's super unique. So, first of all, I haven't buttoned it up because I've already wore this. Oops. Um, <laughs> I haven't buttoned it up, so let me button up the neck. It's got a sheared high neck. Look at the colour of this, guys. It's like it's like a grey, but then it's also like a lilac. It's just really, really unique and really nice. It is massive, so it's in a size 3X, but it is very big. Look at this. Like, it's covering my whole body and more. Like, it is really, really big. Um, it has long sleeves with a sheared cuff at the end, but I wore it with a belt, and I think it looks stunning with a belt. I can imagine wearing this out for dinner, say, for example, with, like, a sparkly diamante belt to cinch it in and then let the, the, the folds of the dress kind of what's the word i'm looking for like drape over the belt i don't know i've just got a feeling it's gonna look so good it hits a good length i would never wear it without a belt because it just looks like a sack but with a belt this dress is beautiful it's chef's kiss i really really like this dress i love the fact that it's silky it just gives it something it gives it texture it gives it shine when you're moving and i can just imagine wearing this with like i said a diamante belt some sheer um sheer black tights maybe a pointed boot, something like that. And it just kind of making me feel great just because this dress does look so good. Loads of room for when you eat as well. So if you're going out to eat, gorgeous. Obviously for Valentine's Day, you won't be able to go out to eat, but this dress is so nice. And especially, I mean, for those of you that can go out, I don't know if it's just England that can't go out, but I know the parts of the world can. For those of you that can, get this dress. This is so nice. And belt it up, let it drape down the sides. It's just gonna look wonderful, chic, gorgeous with a pointed heeled boot. Beautiful. Can't wait to, uh, to wear that out. Last, oh, not last item in this haul second to last item in this haul is something that was a fail for me personally because it does not fit me i can't even show you a try on guys because it really i can't get it on um, and it's this dress i love it let me show you it it is this dress or shirt dress it's kind of giving me piratey vibes i don't know if you can tell what it looks like let me show you the back that might give you a better idea so that's kind of the back of the dress you can see I can't, I can't, I can't do it up, unfortunately. It's in a 3XL. My belly's just not allowing me to do it up. I can do it up just about to, just maybe mid-bust, and then after mid-bust, I'm just done. It will not let me button it up whatsoever, so I suggest going up a size in this. Just because everything else has fit me, this does not fit me at all. My body's not allowing it, so that's the only kind of dud in this haul. Um, now, let me show you the outfit I will be wearing for Valentine's Day. Are you ready? It's a pink outfit. <sighs> Are you ready to see this? This is the outfit I will be wearing. These pajama bottoms. <laughs> These spotty pajama bottoms. And this top, which says, I'd rather be sleeping. Rather be sleeping than cooking for my husband on Valentine's Day. 
I'm going to be wearing a pyjama set. Now this is just your regular bog standard pyjama set from Shein. It's in the size 3XL. It's quite roomy. Um, and then the pants are just spotted pants. Um, spotted leggings, sorry. Pink spotted leggings. Very cute. Probably going to pack these in my hospital bag with me as well. Um, super cute, super comfortable, very stretchy. Very thin as well because I know that UK hospitals are boiling hot. So I'm probably going to pack this in my maternity bag. Um, for when I obviously maternity bag, my hospital bag when I go to the hospital, but I got some pajamas as well as part of this Valentine's Day haul because let's let's be realistic here. I'm probably not going to get dressed up on Valentine's Day. I'm probably going to be wearing pajamas. So, anyways, guys, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some pieces here that give you inspiration for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I'm so sorry about the try on. I know that not everything looks good on me because of our pregnancy, because of my big fat belly. Um, but it is what it is. I am going to get back to normal videos after I've given birth, hopefully, and given myself a bit of a break as well from YouTube. I've been banging out videos every single week, um, hauls, etc. And I'm going to take a little bit of a break when I give birth, just so I can spend time with my husband and my baby. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one don't forget that you can use my code hannahearts15 to get 15% off any of your orders everything will be linked in the description below for you and i'll see you next time bye